Tonight, we're hearing from a local man who says his Galaxy Note 7 phone caught fire while at lunch with his family. Now, we first told you about this local case at 6 o'clock. Now that man is speaking out just hours after Samsung announced it is halting sales of that smartphone. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joining us live tonight with that man's story. And Brandon, this is one of the replacement phones that's supposed to be safe, correct? Yeah, Bill, and therein lies the irony for the now beleaguered Samsung Galaxy Note 7 parts 1 and 2. Tonight, all four major carriers, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. I said Verizon, all of them calling on customers to return their phone to the store to get a replacement model. The family we spoke to says that it's too late. Their phone already caught fire, their replacement phone. They're just fortunate that they didn't get hurt. It's very dangerous. Pictures captured the after, the what happened to Daniel Frank's Samsung Galaxy Note 7 smartphone burned to a crisp. Luckily, I had set it down and it started while it was on a table. Frank says the phone went up in smoke Sunday while he and his family were at lunch. It got so hot so fast it was melting the plastic on the back, the case that was on it, it was melting the phone itself. What's most upsetting here, most ironic, is that Franks did what he was supposed to do. The phone that burned yesterday was his replacement Note 7. He turned in the first version last month when Samsung recalled some 2.5 million devices because of faulty batteries overheating and catching fire. I thought, surely it's just a bad case. Surely it's not going to happen to me. Um, but it did. Yeah, it did. Fortunately, Franks was not hurt. He's handed his phone over to the Consumer Product Safety Board. Tonight, he wants to make sure others are safe. Anybody who has one of these devices, turn it off. Turn it off. Take it back to your retailer. As far as I know, everyone's exchanging it straight out. And Samsung has released a statement on the matter saying in part, quote, we remain committed to working diligently with appropriate regulatory authorities to take all necessary steps to resolve this situation. But as of yet, the replacement phone for the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 has yet to be recalled. We're live tonight in Southwest Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you, sir. We have the entire statement from Samsung on our website. It is on the homepage in the top stories section. New 